the fatherland. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. words. Listen, I tracked down Horson Jr. Yes? And? Did you learn something? Yeah. Siri and Dandelion set out to steal Siggy Reuven's treasure for Horson. He promised to find someone who'd fix Siri's phylactery in exchange. I cannot believe she parleyed with the bastard. Why? It's widely known how anybody who packs with Wily ends. Siri was desperate. But you're right. Wasn't the best idea. Horson ended up wounding Siri just after he'd tortured Dudu. Dudu? is Dudu related to this in any way? Seems Dandelion got him involved, to help Siri. Luckily, Dudu managed to escape, probably hiding somewhere now. <sighs> what of Wily? He's dead. Tell me, you and Dandelion, how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. 
Take care now. Sir? If I was seeking to get you drunk, <gasps> Madame, you we would not be drinking coke that with you. It's too expensive. I want to stray in, and before you know it, the neighbors <laughs> will The neighborhood's full of them. Run, good folk! We've a madman! Let one stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's full of them. Guards! Just wait. They'll drag you away in shackles. Not a headache again. Let one stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's full of them. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Presence is an affront to the eternal fire.
Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. You were gonna show me something. Mm-hmm. And you were gonna follow. Come on, no mucking around this time, understood? So kind as to follow me. About your treasure. Yes. Talk to me. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. Farid. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look, won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes, head fall. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, do you see them? Bart, through hole. 
Want see boom? Got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep go. Jorfun gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. I had this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it...? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into?
Witcher's potions were vile. Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. It's a pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Just curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Drown it. Definitely came through here. The thug Dijkstra hired. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down in another shouting guy. Corpses. Otherwise, Draenors will never stop congregating.
entrance here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. cylinder most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests.
Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote, just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, I know the one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novograd. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in me knickers. Alright. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing interesting. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. the vault has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants happen has numerous flaws he's pompous pretentious can be a real prick sometimes ironic as that may sound but his loyalty is beyond question how can you be so sure witches know their monsters spies know their men you trusted philippa eilhart once too true but i didn't pull philippa eilhart out of a kaviri prison the night before her execution Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel. 
decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. hovel in a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. A letter. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions, or Ceres.
1245 to 1254. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion... Cohorts planned the heist. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Stain. Wyvern oil. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kelkstain. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kelkstain. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. and Triss. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. 
Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, mm. Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. I doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere. And Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks.
Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? So long. this weather. Need something sharpened? Reforged? What do you have on offer?
So long. <laughs>